Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, I'll tell you what, down in Mississippi, it's, it's been hot for weeks now. We haven't been getting no rain past couple days, y'all. It's cooled off. Uh, temperature is probably up in the upper 80s, maybe the lower 90s. And uh, I'll tell you, that's a, that's a good bit of relief right there from all these hot temps we've been having. Been enjoying this uh, weather and stuff. Uh, makes a lot more pleasant when you have to go outside work and do stuff. But uh, let me show you what I've been working on right here, y'all. Uh, I made these uh, sheaths right here uh, for Buck 110. And uh video or two ago, I think I told y'all I was going to uh, kind of compare a little bit about some leather. Uh, the Shaheen leather and the uh, Herman Oak leather. And, and you know, give my opinion about you know what I think about uh, them two leathers. That's, that's two leathers that uh that i have right now that i'm using and i've uh, been using a shaheen leather for you no know, good while now and i really like that leather but uh this is first time i ever bought uh a side of a uh, herman oak leather and uh there there's a little difference in in them um as far as cutting the material you know the leather and stuff um this right here this is gonna be a shaheen leather this right here is herman oak and this is herman oak and uh, now I don't have a, uh, a sheath out here to show you that I've told there the, for the Shaheen leather. But uh, for the color, you know how they accept uh, different color and stuff. Uh, this is a golden tan uh, knife sheath. And uh, I got it with the black uh, rich tiger thread. And uh, you can kind of see the color of that right there. And the, I, you know, I've done it. Pretty much both of them the same way. Um, both of them got tan coat on them. And that's the Herman Oak right there. And uh, I think on this one right here, I did go back and uh, put a little bit more uh, dye along the edges. Some darker dye on these uh, barbed wire. But you can kind of see they're real similar as far as the color. Um, let me see. Get them up here so you can see them there. So you can see there's just a little bit difference there. So this in here appears to be a little bit darker shade. And uh, that's what I heard about Herman Oak, you know, when you oil it and different things like that, you know, it takes oil, you know, a little different, you know, darkens down real nice. So I can kind of see that right there myself. Uh, it does when you oil the leather like this right here. This is a, uh, I just stamped this uh, today. And uh, this is Herman Oak leather. And, um, it's uh, na just natural, and you no, know, all I did just put some uh, neat's foot oil on it and uh, tan coat. So that's what that looks like right there. Now I can tell the difference on, on between the Herman Oak and the Shaheen when you just oil it. This it does darken down a little bit more, but uh, the main thing I can tell the difference uh, right now, anyway, is this leather here. The Herman Oak is. Uh, I'm, I'm probably say about two times as tough when it comes to cutting the leather. Uh, it might not be that way with all sides, but this particular side I have is pretty stiff. And that's a good thing if you want to tool your leather. But uh, I've had no issue whatsoever tooling uh, this leather right here, the Shaheen leather. And if you ask me which, which one's my favorite, y'all, it's going to be the, uh, for right now, what I do is I like working with the Shaheen leather. A little better uh, this uh just because it's just gonna be a little bit harder to uh cut but uh other than that you know there's really in my opinion not not much difference i'm not now i haven't wet molded the um uh, herman oak leather yet so i might change my mind on that and how you know wet molds and stuff it might be you know do better or whatever but uh i just want to show you all these sheets right here i got made and uh, i'll be putting these on my uh, Etsy store there if anybody uh, interested in any of these sheets right here and um, Another thing y'all I'm going to go ahead and show y'all when we went on vacation there went to uh, Smoking Mountain Knife Works in uh, Sevierville, Tennessee. And I bought several knives here and I wanted to uh, show y'all these knives and uh, let me get my camera mounted y'all and uh, I'll be back and I'll show you uh, what I picked up there. Ouch, y'all. I can't remember in one of the videos before if I showed you this particular knife I might have had, but I'll go ahead and show you. This is a RR081, and this is just a little small, little lot back. 
Um, now, if that seemed a lot, just uh, that's what it looks like right there. And uh, the I can't remember. Most of these little Rough Rider knives are not too expensive. You know, probably between ten, fourteen dollars most time. You know. They're going to have some knives a little bit more expensive than that. It might be $20, $30, whatever. But generally speaking, uh, these knives don't cost that much. And uh, they're just nice little knives, you know, for what they are. And uh, that makes a nice little pocket carry, little lock back knife right there. Just want to show you that. Y'all can hear my phone in the background beeping. Notifications. Now, this knife here is... Um, the number on this is a OC four five four nine SBR, and uh, it's a uh, knife. It's made by Frost Cutlery. Um, my son Austin, he wanted a. Uh, let me just show you this right here first. Give you a little background behind it. Had this sheath right here that uh, I took off of my. I don't know if I ever put it on the Etsy uh, shop there, to be honest with you. But anyway, he liked it right there. It just got like a natural live edge on it. And uh, he come in there one day and uh, had it back here in the back on the table. And he said, he said, Daddy, I'd like to have that sheath right there. And I said, all right, well, we'll have to get you a knife for it. And, uh, of course, you know, he's on 10 years old. And I didn't want to spend, you know, 70, 80 bucks for a buck 110. So when we was up there, we kind of looked around and uh, had a lot of different ones that were similar to a Buck 110. And uh, this is one of them that he liked, that he picked out. Um, I let him pick out his own knife. Um, and uh, it's just a, uh, it mimics a Buck 110. The only thing different, y'all, between this and a Buck 110 is uh, the thickness of the handle. Uh, you can see the handle right there is going to be a little bit thinner. Um, but uh you know it's not really sharp anything like that you know i'm sure uh you might be able to get just a little bit better edge on it uh, but i'm not really worried about that main thing i just want to get a knife from my son that you know he could uh say put in his sheath right here and and work pretty good you know good tight fit and everything so uh, that's his little knife and his sheath that he wanted so i just want to show y'all that The next one here, I got, like I say, a lot of these knives and stuff, they're not expensive at all. Like you see right there, that was $16.99 while I paid for this one. It's a Chickasaw Skinner. And the reason I bought this was I like the design of it. And um, it comes with a little sheath right here, which is not much to the sheath, to be honest with you. It's almost like, reminds me of cardboard, but that's not the reason I bought it. Uh, bought it because i like the shape of the knife and it's, it's just a nice little blade far as the shape and i thought about making uh me a sheath well I'll, I'll definitely make me a sheath for it but i thought about making uh maybe like a universal uh type sheath and maybe put it put on my etsy shop right there because i know there's a lot of knives that are kind of similar to this right here and uh so that's why i figure i do make it like a universal style sheath for a knife on this style right here and uh maybe put on Etsy right there but uh this one right here is it's not too sharp either and like i said most of these knives y'all are um you know gonna be made in china i i guess a few of them might be made in taiwan if you get but most most of these knives this day and time it's gonna be made in china but anyway i just want to show you that little knife right there now, if that was a, you know, if I was to make me a knife that looked like it right there, it, it, it'd it be a nice little knife, you know. That might be something one of these days I might try to do, because I do like that style blade right there. And I could make me one maybe with an antler handle. That'd be nice. But uh, this next one right here, it's a Rough Rider. The number on this one is going to be RR1636. And uh, same as the other uh, knife, the sheath, there ain't much to it, you know. It's um, just real thin. Uh, I feel like plastic or something almost to me. But uh, 
it's just got like this leather uh, stacked handle on it and I'm not really sure you know how good that, that is as far as the leather and stuff but anyway I kind of like that uh, uh, style knife also kind of reminds me of a buck 110 blade uh, some bit uh, it's got these brass uh, bolsters on them so I mean it's Problem that it cost probably ten, twelve dollars this knife right here, so it's not like a big investment. And uh, for the sharpness, that this is gonna be a sharper knife than the other uh, knives I show you. Seem like uh, I don't know Rough Rider. Seem like their knives a little bit sharper than uh, some other knives. It seems like, but anyway, I'm gonna show you that knife right there. And uh, this last knife I want to show you is a uh, Uncle Henry knife. Now this is one I particularly went up there, uh, had intentions on uh, getting me one of them. Uh, I seen it on the, uh, I was looking one day on the computer and I can't remember how I came across it, but uh, I thought well, that's, that's pretty nice little knife. So, uh, There's a little sheath that comes in. Um, I say it's it's kind of thin too. It ain't that much to it, you know. It's, it's stacked uh, leather, but you know it's thick here. But it's, this here is just a little bit thin here. Uh, the quality of the leather, to be honest, we feel like you hear that it feels like cardboard to me. But um, the knife itself, I mean taken the plastic off of it right here yet um like it's uh it's got no, no nice stag handle on it and it's got these uh, brass rivets right here pinged in it the handle keep the handle on and uh the the metal itself y'all on this blade is a d2 steel so that's one thing really interesting to me it has you know made out of good steel and uh, this knife is sharp here now this 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 is ready to go right here and uh i'm not gonna say i'm gonna use it for hunting i'm not hunting sure yet but it could be a uh, good uh, knife for me to take along but it, it definitely you don't have to have a better uh, sheath than this right here this is uh just fine as far as you know just what it come with i guess but i definitely want to make me a sheath for this knife here and uh just want to show you all that tell you what let me just go ahead and see if i can get this uh plastic off here so y'all can actually take a better look at the handle there you go there you go on this one side um uh, now if you go now i looked at uh i think the one on display is a little bit different from this knife but um uh, you can see this side here the the antler handle is a little bit more textured and this side here is a little bit more smoother um so let's, let's but feels real good in my hands there. Right? That's the main thing. It's got a nice little uh, handle on it. You know, if you got big hands, you know, this might not be the uh, perfect knife for you. But uh, let me see here. I don't think I gave y'all a number on that, did I? Uh, the number for this knife is 1085925. So, uh, let me see what it says uh, Henry Schrade D2. It's got D2 stamp right here on the blade. But anyway, y'all, I just want to uh, show you them few knives right there. I'm going to make this video just too long here. But uh, that's what I'm doing here today in the shop. And uh, just made them sheaths. And uh, I'll be, uh, let me get this camera turned back around now. All right, y'all. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming along today. Uh, just want to show y'all what I was doing in my shop. Just finishing up on these uh, leather sheaths. And uh, I'll be putting them over there on my Etsy shop. And if y'all, some of you might be interested in maybe looking at what I got over there. Or maybe looking at these sheaths I just got through making. Uh, I'll be posting them over there. And y'all can take a look at them. And um, if there's anything y'all might want that I don't have on there, just leave me a message on my um, Etsy shop there. A messenger there. And uh, just tell me what you might be looking for. It might be something that I can uh, make for you or might be a popular sheath that, you know, that uh, I, I haven't really thought about making there. Any kind of comments, anything like that, any suggestions, y'all 
uh, just leave them down there below and I appreciate it. I always like reading your comments and uh, another thing I just wanted to tell y'all if y'all are by Smoky Mountain Knife Works in uh, Sevierville, Tennessee y'all stop by there they don't want to have knives they have all kind of taxidermy mounts of elephants and bear and deer elk wolves just you name it you know they they, they got a ton of just taxidermy mounts and that's interesting in itself y'all but anyway y'all i'm going to show you them knives i picked up there and uh like I say if y'all uh ever buy there just swing by there they got thousands of knives and uh i'm, I'm sure y'all enjoy stopping by there and seeing all that but anyway y'all Appreciate y'all coming along, and as always, friends, for my family years, y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.